Okay, seriously, what's your take on this one? I came across a post on Instagram that said, I'm done checking on people who don't check up on me. That mm -hmm. stuff is over with. Ladies, do you feel like we shouldn't check on people who don't check up on us and why? It, this is the stupidest thing I ever did here. Mm -hmm. Like, is that what we checking up on people for? Not because we genuinely care or think mm -hmm. about them or miss them. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I thought about you today, but let me see if you thought about me first. Like, it feels very immature and very petty. And I don't want these kind of high maintenance friends. If you think about me and you genuinely want to reach out and say hi, don't check to see if I checked on you first. This is stupid. No, I don't think it's first. I think they're like concerned that they're always the person giving out and they don't just mm -hmm. they fall, well, nobody it, calls. Well, right? you're well, always I, the person consistently right. reaching out to somebody and they don't respond right. or reach well, out to you, that's different. That's what I was going to say. I'm very big on reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not saying if I do Ooh, something for one. you, you have to do something. Okay, reciprocity. Ooh, okay. I learned that from a Lauren Hill song, okay? <laughs> Everything is about reciprocity. Oh. I give out the energy. The energy you give out is the energy that you're going to receive a lot of times. But anyway, um, you know, to Adrian's point, yes, I, if I want to check on you, I want to yes. check on you. However, it does suck to be the only one like, hey, how you doing? Just checking on you. And you're looking at your phone, does nothing, not a text, nothing. So, um, yeah, that it gets So a what do you do older. in those situations? Do you stop checking on them? <laughs> well, I think people think that, for, you know, I'm the oldest in my family. And for yeah. some reason, there's this perception with my family members that I'm good. <laughs> I'm strong. Mm -hmm. I got it. You know, it's Cynthia. She, she's, yeah. you know, she's got it under control. And it's them strong ones that you think are strong are the main ones that you need to check on sometimes because we don't always... Uh, I don't really feel like I have the luxury of ever really falling apart. I just have to keep it together. I've yeah. always felt like I've had to do that. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, you know, when, it's, when I have the downtime, like the holidays, yeah. I will go through my phone mm -hmm. and I will look. And even if I just sent a text to people that I haven't mm -hmm. sent a text for even a whole year, just to say, hey, how you doing? I you do do that. You, you did that to me. You do that. that. Lonnie is yes. that person, but this is my thing. Imagine if you went in your phone and you were like, oh, but they haven't written me in a year. And instead you stopped yourself from sending that message based on, I haven't heard from this person in a year. I also don't think that there's anything wrong with communicating mm -hmm. that like, hey, I hit you up right. and you never hit me back. Did mm -hmm. I do something wrong? Right. Is it something I've done that makes you not want to reach out to me? Like communicate that, but I think just going off of the idea of, well, they ain't hit me, so I ain't gonna hit them neither. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I think that that's no, not that a good, too. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you gotta be careful too, cause some people you hit up, you be like, woo, okay. <laughs> My bad. She yeah. didn't send that Ooh. message, cause now this just. <laughs> woo, all right. all right, my bunions, everything. It's, you know, it's like, okay. People are like, how are you? Yes. And they write to a novel back. Yes. Well, actually, my bills are. <laughs> right. but, but maybe they needed just somebody to vent to, so they're grateful right. for that yeah. little text message. Guys, Definitely. this is the thing. Right. Never allow someone's bad character yes. to ruin the that's good true. character that's, that's inside of you. Speak on I that. agree with Always that. follow your heart because you also never know what someone else is going through. Especially and maybe during they, this time. Maybe Especially they haven't reached the out because they're in a mm -hmm. hole. Yeah. Maybe they're in a dark, bad place. Right. And you might be thinking, oh, they're stuck up. They don't reach out to me or they don't think right. about me. You have no idea what they're going through. So just do it anyway. Put your pride aside and reach out anyway. Definitely. Well, with that being said, now most of us, We'll be breaking bread with who? Our family members and extended families this Christmas. Yes. So imagine a world where you could invite anyone you want to your holiday dinner. Anyone, dead, alive, famous. Let's have fun. Okay. Who would be two people, just two people that you would want to host at your dream holiday dinner table? Give me the details, mm -hmm. who are the people, what does the table look like, what's mm -hmm. the vibe? Oh, okay. Simply. Well, I mean, there's like the obvious people like Barack and Obama. Oh, uh, Barack and yeah, Michelle. Yeah, well, of like... course. They're like, like, that's just, I don't even really have to say them. They're just automatically invited to anything that I <laughs> right, do, right. just so you know. Okay, but I love, I would love to have Octavia Spencer and Viola Davis at my dinner. I oh. love them. I consider them friends. No, I have not met them. <laughs> that's amazing. They're my friends. We follow each other on Instagram. I like their posts. They like mine. They comment. You know, we do all of that. So they're my friends. It's a whole kiki at the table. It's I feel that. Kiki. What about you, Lonnie? Baby Jesus. Oh, yes. and Avenger. I would want him to be there with me. Not grown Jesus. You <laughs> no, want baby, baby Jesus. Jesus. I want okay. baby Jesus. Okay. So I could give him some milk. In the manger. And I could be, I could just feel it. And I could be like, I'm here to take care of you. 
Okay, Aww. Auntie and Lonnie with baby that's Jesus. So yes, and Mary. And Mary. I want Mary oh, on Mary the side too. and baby Jesus over here. Okay. So we can talk and I'm like, girl, what happened? <laughs> You'll be like, Mary, did you know? How did you feel? Wow. <laughs> Y'all really put some thought into this. Mine is so simple and straightforward because I'm just trying to laugh. Uh -huh. I want Larry David and Cheryl Hines. Oh. oh. I feel like oh, yes. I love Cheryl Hines. I work with her on I Can See Your Voice, and she always has me in tears laughing. And I'm always kind of asking her for like tidbits on what's Larry David like in real life because I love Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes, yes. So, so do I. I just feel like some crazy thing mm -hmm. would happen. Larry would say something wild. I feel like someone's definitely going to spill wine at the table and there's going to sure. be some kind For of altercation. Sure. <laughs> and I am just going to laugh the entire yes. time. And that's how I like to time. spend. A good All time. Right. Yeah, that would be great. But those, everyone has good choices. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs>